Yesterday, I watched a very interesting interview uh, that Ed and Kate did on Good Morning Britain with a woman who uh, needed uh, surgery, hip replacement, I think it was, yep. Yep. and um, was told that the waiting list was going to be at least 18 months. She was going to have to wait a year and a half for a hip replacement, which is pretty standard routine surgery. She couldn't do that. She couldn't work. She could not physically work. She couldn't face waiting. It was going to affect um, her mental health and her physical health. Now, how is a work well job coach going to help somebody in that situation? Is it going to shorten the waiting list for the surgery for her? Well, what, what I can't do, obviously, is, is comment on a specific case because I don't know all the details. But in general terms, if somebody, for example, went to the doctor, um, let, let's say they, they'd had an accident no, and they were they, say the you're mobility. waiting a year and a half well, for a hip replacement okay. and you so, cannot work. Let's so, just say you're someone well, if, like that. It, How is it, a job it, coach going to help you? So in the circumstances where you have somebody who has something like that, so has a mobility issue, in general terms, and I can't comment on the specific example, but in general terms, uh, it may well be the case that with adaptations at work, for example, uh, somebody who may currently have to climb some stairs as part of their office routine, uh, if, that, if a desk could be relocated, if a taxi could be arranged to get them to work, you know, things can be done to help She's alongside pain. the, the and support. And frankly, Mr Strides, well, the point you know yeah. I'm getting to is yeah. that record lengths of waiting lists are what need to be tackled not and? doing a broad sweep of people who could work are just simply out of work because they've chosen not to be in work the fact of the matter is people cannot get access to mental health support without long waiting lists and they can't get access to physical health support under the nhs currently because of record long waiting lists